Hey, hey, it's Saturday, and you know what that means? It means it's tidying up day. Yeah, all the stuff that I've had lying around here for the last week, I've now got to attend to. So, um, there's one more thing I wanted to do, though. There's been something that I've been wanting to t tell you for a few weeks, but I couldn't because I had to get the last couple of videos out so that it would make sense. And what I wanted to tell you is... I make my own rocket fuel. So, here I am down in the bottom recesses of my property in a space behind between the sheds and the boundary fence. And this is where I keep my rocket fuel. All the sticks that have been pulled off the trees during the early part of the winter have come down here even in the winter it gets a good bit of sun and that's drying everything out now perfect rocket fuel so long as it snaps like a pencil and it's no thicker than a man's thumb then that is what you need for rocket fuel this has been sitting here since the beginning of the winter just drying out and every piece is now absolutely ready for rocketing. As I pick it to use, what I will do is just knock off outside branches. Cut it into about six or eight inch lengths. And then I'll pack a good bucket of that, and a good bucket of that is more than you need to cook a full meal on a rocket stove. So, while you're busy in the kitchen getting everything ready, you could send the kids down here and the kids can be in charge of getting the rocket fuel. How exciting is that for a small kid? Now, I wouldn't advocate giving a small kid a chainsaw or an axe. I mean, I think that uh, kids below the age of about six certainly shouldn't be allowed to use it themselves unsupervised. But um, I think you could send the two and three year old, if they can crawl and drag a bucket behind them, then they can come down here and snap up a few sticks and leave you to get on with things in the kitchen. I don't think you're going to have uh, child welfare on your case or uh, anything like that. Just get into it and take advantage of the free labour while you can. Because once they're teenagers, you'll be lucky to see them again unless it's meal times. think there are any um, health and safety issues to uh, refueling a rocket in your garden all you need to do is select a few sticks that are um, pencil like nice reasonably straight no thicker than a pencil never more never fill the uh, feed chute more than halfway because you do need to get air in there as well There we go. A few sticks in there to get it started. And then we'll grab a bit of newspaper. You only need a quarter of a sheet. Screw that into a light ball. And that goes in front of the sticks so that the draft will pull the flames through the sticks. So we'll drop that in here. Light it up. And in about five seconds, you'll hear the engine start. Let's count down. Five, four, three, two, one ignition can you hear it here it comes there it is it's away
So now you've seen how to grow and make your own high octane rocket fuel. I look forward to seeing you all in the next video, which will be coming up real soon. I can hear that kettle just beginning to boil. <laughs>